my chickens, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing half my face with drugstore and then half my face with high end. So we're gonna find some amazing dupes for you guys today. You don't need a lot of money to get good makeup. Like that's the bottom line. So this video is gonna prove that. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video and let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's start with the eyebrows as per usual. So I'm gonna do my drugstore side on this side right here and then my high end side on this side. So. I'm going to take the Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. And then on the other side, I'm taking the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse. And this one's in the shade Taupe. I would have to say that the Chi Chi product is a little bit harder to work with just because the product is a little bit more wet. So you have more room for mistakes because you can slip and slide everywhere. But the Tarte one, um, it's like a little bit more dry, but it's still really easy to apply. Um, they're both really good products though. So all I'm doing is just making my eyebrows a little bit more symmetrical because naturally, they literally don't even look related. And then to carve out my eyebrows, the two concealers that I have here are the Benefit Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 and also the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Light Medium. These two shades are nearly identical and these are both like amazing, really lightweight um, concealers. And I really like both of them, so haha. <laughs> That was actually a little hard to carve out my brows with just because it was so watery That concealer, but it turned out pretty good. Yeah, this one was definitely a little bit easier to carve out the brows with Let's move on to the eyeshadow. So for the drugstore side I'm taking this palette from the balm. This one is so beautiful And there's only two brands that I like from the drugstore when it comes to the eyeshadows and that is Chi Chi and the balm so That's all I'm really working with today. The first color that I'm gonna take is called matte Lupez, this one right here, and this is going straight in the crease. The balm is sold at Target where I live, so I don't know. It's drugstore where I live. Dope. These shadows honestly work just as well as high end products. I'm obsessed. And then for the high end side, I'm taking the Dose of Colors Baked Browns eyeshadow. This palette is on another level of pigmented, like. It's, it's insane. I don't even have any words. So I'm going to take this color right here and that is going in the crease again. No, no, no. Actually, I'm going to take this color. That's a bit closer. Oh God, that's a completely different shade. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Then back to the drugstore side, I'm going in with the Chi Chi Spices palette and I'm picking up this warm brown color right here and that's going in the crease. I'm just taking that on a little tapered blending brush. Back on the high-end side, I'm going in with that same Dose of Colors palette and taking this rich cranberry color and doing the same thing. Still, just tapping off a lot of excess product because, whoa, this is intense. And then just to add a little speck of darkness, I'm gonna take this color from the Balm palette and this color from the Dose of Colors palette. And I'm just gonna take a little tapered brush and really work that right in the crease. Just barely touching it. I'm gonna do a little bit of a cut crease, so I'm gonna go in with these two concealers again and work my magic. Okay, so the next step is to go in with matte white eyeshadows right over the top. So I'm gonna take this shade and pack her on. And there's also a white shade in the Dose of Colors palette. I just did a really rough job of the uh, cut crease because I'm gonna put glitter in there as well. Oh my God, I'm actually scared for my life. So I'm gonna do a little bit of white eyeliner right there. Okay, uh, I might ruin this whole makeup look. So on one side we have the NYX liquid liner and then on the other side we have the Too Faced um, liquid art eyeliner. Let's get to work, I'm so scared. I'm pretty sure this one takes a while to dry. So this is gonna take a while. Oh my god, this white one is literally like impossible to use from Too Faced. No! I'm sorry, but I honestly have to use the um, NYX one on this side because it's just not as opaque. I mean, that's amazing news though, right? Oh no, I've completely stuffed this one up. It's like lower. Mm. Okay, so it looks alright when I do that. <laughs> I'm just going to go over the top on both sides with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner. Um, this is like the only two steps that I'm going to do that aren't drugstore and high-end. I just really want to make it look cute. <laughs> now for the mascara, I have the Balm What's Your Type Mascara and also the Bobbi Brown 
What even is this? The Smoky Eye Mascara. These ones are both so amazing. This one really separates the lashes. And this one's super wet, so it makes your lashes massive. Oh my god, see, they're both incredible and they pretty much both look the exact same. <laughs> I'm so excited to move on to the face. So we have the Golan, what even is this called? It's a Radiance Concentrate with a pure gold flex in it. And then we have the Wet n Wild Face Primer. Gorge. They both have very different like consistencies. This one feels exactly just like a moisturizer. And this one's more like a gel consistency. It's super light. It feels nice and refreshing and Oh my God, it smells incredible. Oh my God, there's a gold fleck here. I'm actually rich now, thank you. I'm kidding. <gasps> Foundation time. So on the drugstore side, we have the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1. This one's in the shade Warm Beige. And I also have the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation also in the shade Warm Beige, girl. So let's start with the drugstore. I really like this one. It's super full coverage. It blends really easily. I don't have any clean brushes. That's a problem. I'm going to have to use a new brush that I haven't used before. This is the Morphe Y7. Let's try this. I love this color so much. See, as you can see, it's covered everything really nicely. And it has a beautiful finish. I'm just going to rub off the excess foundation. I haven't used this one in such a long time. I'm just going to blend that in with the same brush. Because it is a really thick formula. Going back in with the concealers, the Maybelline Fit Me, and the Too Faced. I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Oh, that's amazing. I would say that they're both just as good as each other, except this one is a little bit lighter. So I really need to go in and set that down with translucent powder before it creases. So I have the Airspun Loose Face Powder as the drugstore, and then the La Prairie um, cellular treatment loose powder. This one is so expensive. I used it like three times. Like, what do you mean? First going in with the powder that is literally like $12 and it is so good. I always forget about this one. And the other side, I would just have to say the, La the, the La Prairie one melts like in, oh my God, I'm like stuttering so bad. This one melts into the skin, like literally straight away. You can't really see it which is really good. And then for the face powder, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Pore. Oh my God, why do I keep freaking summing up my words? Matte and Poreless in 220 and then the Benefit Hello Flawless in the shade Champagne. This one by Benefit will like forever be my favorite powder in the world. This one still is really good, but I just feel like the that Benefit one is just like nothing is going to be as good as that. But I always set my face down so everything over the top like blends in nice and smoothly. Let's go in with my little baby. I don't know why I love it so much. It just like works so well on my skin. It looks so nice. My makeup stays on beautifully when I set my face with this. Now to set the eyebrows on the drugstore side, I'm going in with the Tip My Brow by Astralis in the shade Light Brown. I've loved this one for so many years. You just have to kind of like brush off the excess product because a lot comes out and you've got to be really careful. I'm just going to use this to brush my brows upwards. This one's super affordable. Oh, it just separates every single brow and makes your brows look so full. And then the other side, I'm using the 3D Brow Tones by Benefit in shade number two. Benefit brow products will always be like up there with my favorite products. But this one pretty much just does the same thing. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the dark brown colors from outer corner to inner corner. I'm just going to take that on a little angled brush. And then I'll go in with the lighter shade just underneath it. So it kind of blends down into that color. And then of course, same on the other side. You can definitely tell that this side is a lot more pigmented. So what I'm going to do now is go in and do my mascara with the drugstore and high end. And then I'm going to pop on some falsies and I'll be right back, girl. It is time for the bronzer. I'm feeling like my face is a little bit orange compared to my neck, but we're going to make that work very soon. So we have the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and also the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. So let's start with the drugstore side. Everyone loves this product right here. So, I mean, oh, oh my God, I just inhaled that. My God, I kind of forget how this one goes, but you really have to build it up. See, that looks really nice. And then on the other side, I'm taking a touch of the Benefit. This one's super pigmented. 
As you guys probably know, I love a really glowy cheekbone. So on the drugstore side, I'm taking the Wet n Wild Fergie um, Center Stage Collection. This is in the shade Rose Golden Goddess. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this over my contouring shade. That's actually so beautiful. I'm gonna put this around my hairline as well. It adds such a pretty glow. And on the other side, I'm going in with the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Bronzer. This one's a little bit more on the brown side rather than like the orangey tones, but I really like this one as well. It literally looks like I've rubbed my face in dirt. Oh my God. I haven't used the Benefit bronzer in so long. I forgot how pigmented it was. Now it's time for the blush. So I'm taking the Jordana blush in the shade Rose Silk and then the MAC blush in the shade Blush Baby. So I'm just gonna use the same bronzer brush that I just used and put this on the apples of my cheeks just very lightly because I do wanna do a red lip. Have I done that in so long? I love the MAC blushes, they're so beautiful. And Jordana blushes are really good as well. Both so pigmented. It is time for the highlighter. So we have the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette. This one's in the shade Catwalk Pink. This one is so beautiful and there's a few different shades you can choose from. And then the high-end one is the Jouer Highlight in the shade Rose Gold. This one is one of my all-time favorite highlighters. It's so beautiful. All right, let's start with the high-end side. Oh, so pretty. It's like a yellowy gold. And then on the other side, I'm gonna use this shade right here. Ooh. What one do you guys like better? I feel like this one's kind of prettier. This one's super yellow, isn't it? All right, red lipstick time. I haven't done this in so freaking long. So we have the MAC Liquid Lipstick in the shade Feels So Grand and the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Creeper. That's a great look, isn't it? Goes to show how big red lipstick makes your lips look. I much prefer the ColourPop applicator. This one's really weird. Now it's time for the setting spray. We have the NYX Dewy Finishing Mist. Mm, so refreshing. And then on the other side, we have the Marc Jacobs Recover Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist. Now this one left white dots on my face last time, so I've got to be really careful. Okay. No. It's left with dots again. <laughs> this was so expensive. Anyways, here we have the finished makeup look. Let's go ahead and have a little closer look at the face to see what really looks different. So I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like the drugstore side better. Like a lot better. The liquid lipstick was so much easier to apply. The applicator was just so much better. The bronzer, um, the blush, actually no, the blush was like the same on both sides, but like the bronzer and the highlighter was kind of like better on this side. Um, I definitely like the Tarte eyebrow product better. Mm, the eyeshadows were both amazing. This one was kind of like easier to blend out, but these ones were just so buttery and beautiful. Everything else was like really good. Oh my God, I literally went crazy on that hula. Like be careful if you have that. I do this in every video. You guys must be so annoyed by now. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up because it helps me out so, so much. I love you guys. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram because right now I'm in America. So you'll be seeing some really cool photos. And also I'm selling my watches again on SG The Label. If you guys want to check them out, I'll leave the Instagram down below. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.